well, it depends what aspect of freshwater life we're talking about. So if you think about the, the food web, which is based on plants at the bottom, when the nitrate goes in, the nitrate is a, an essence, a nutrient, which the, the plants use to grow. Um, and they, they grow up to a certain level, and then they're eaten by invertebrates, which are then eaten by fish. The problem comes in New Zealand in that in many of our streams we put too much nitrate in, and so that increases that, the growth of that algae beyond the ability for those um, invertebrates to kind of keep up with it and, and eat it, if you like. And, and I guess the analogy I would give is, is mowing the lawn. And so if you mow your lawn on a fairly regular basis and it doesn't go, go too long, you can keep mowing it. But if you leave it for a month or so and actually come back and try and mow it, um, you'll find that your mower doesn't actually work. And, and so that's what's happening in many of our rivers is so much nitrate is getting in there that the grass is growing beyond the ability of those animals to control it. Once it exceeds that kind of growth limit, then those animals actually can't eat, on, eat it anymore. They can't survive. Once they disappear, then the fish which eat them also disappear. So it, it's, in the ecology, it's called a trophic cascade. You alter the bottom of the food web and it sort of filters all, its, all the way up to the fish and I guess eventually humans that want to use those fish.